everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Veronica and I'm actually gonna be showing you my pamper routine today because I've been breaking out. So I wanna do a face mask, I'm gonna do a hair mask, and I also wanna do a butt mask because I recently got some and I've already used them twice and they've made such a big difference. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use them today and you guys will be so grateful because your feet will go from like hard and ashy to like beautiful and soft and ready to like go on a walk at the beach. So yeah, I am really excited to pamper myself. So we're just gonna jump right in with the hair mask. I'm gonna use coconut oil and coconut oil has so many uses. I'm sure you guys know. Um, you guys can use it to like remove your makeup, hair mask obviously and yeah. By the way, I also cut my hair last week, I think. So, oh, I cut it when I was in Toronto, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is definitely shorter. Um, yeah, my hair is just really gross right now. So I'm actually going to be putting the coconut oil from my roots to my tip, just so it really like nourishes my hair because my hair is so fragile and I'm always losing hair when I shower. So I just really wanna make sure that my strands are well moisturized. And look at this, it looks so greasy and so disgusting, but you just have to tell yourself that it's good for your hair and you should be doing this like a few times a week, even though I never do this. My friend Brittany actually does this all the time, so I got inspired by her. Okay, so now that I have it like liberally applied everywhere in my hair, I look like an oily mess and I'm just going to tie my hair up in a bun just so it can really saturate into the hair follicles. And yeah, I would actually prefer using a clip, but I cannot find a clip right now, so we're just gonna use a hair tie and tie it into a bun. And now I'm just gonna like relax. I actually can't really relax because I have to clean my room right now because I haven't unpacked from Toronto. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this sit. Um, you can leave it like anywhere past 10 minutes. I'm gonna leave it for around 20 to 30 minutes just so it really moisturizes my hair because I really need that help because my hair is disgusting and dry. Okay, so I look freaking ugly and bald and my forehead looks huge. But anyways, I'm just gonna hop in the shower right now. I'm gonna shampoo twice and then condition once just to make sure I can get all of the coconut oil out of my roots because that has happened where I have a little bit of residue left. So it's really important to either shampoo really well once or I just shampoo twice. So yeah, I will be right back after I shower. Okay, so now that I'm out of the shower and my hair is like dripping wet, Oh, at least it smells good. I'm gonna um, wrap my hair in my Turby Twist. You guys probably cannot see me anymore. I love my Turby Twist because I feel like it doesn't really soak like the water out of my hair like it's supposed to, but at least it keeps my hair up while it's like somewhat drying. For the past few, few weeks, I've actually been trying out the John Frieda Brilliant Brutinette Visibly Brighter Subtle Lightening Shampoo and Conditioner. And I like this just because it does brighten up my brown hair, especially for the summer, but this is the first time I've ever seen a lightning brunette shampoo and conditioner that doesn't bring out the brassy tones and it truly just brings out like the brown tones, which I really like because that's normally really hard to find because if you're a brunette and you're trying to lighten your hair, most of you guys know it will turn orange. So I really like this and it has been gradually lightening my hair. So now that I'm done showering and everything, we are actually gonna go back in my room and we are going to do a face mask and a foot mask, which is gonna be so fun. So I'm actually choosing a face mask right now. I've really been enjoying the brand Karuna. Normally I use like Tony Moly or other face mask brands, but I've been trying this out and I really, really like it. So I'm probably gonna use one of their face masks today. I'm deciding between the skin clarifying duo because I am breaking out, but I'm wondering if I should just like save this for school when I actually break out. This is really cool actually, the skin clarifying duo because you put spots um, they have like stickers on your spots then you put the sheet mask on top and then you take off the sheet mask and the spots are like dissolved because it's like a treatment for your acne so I really want to use this for my forehead but I don't think my skin is bad enough where I should use one of these masks because I feel like I'd get more use if I used it during finals week or something if you know what I'm saying so I think I'm going to use a mask from this set and this is actually the karma kit so it comes with four masks and it has the exfoliating hydrating antioxidant or age defying mask and I actually think today I am going to use the antioxidant mask because I've been wanting to use it for a while and the packaging is so cute I don't know if you guys can tell but I love the teal, like the light mint and the purple. I just think it's so cute. This is just like a normal face mask. You just put it on and you let it sit for around 20. I normally let it sit for a little bit longer. I don't know if that's bad or not, but let me open it right now. Okay, so I just opened the package. Let me smell it. I always smell face masks before I use them. Ooh, this one smells very, very clean. I like it. Okay, so 
Here is the face mask. You have to be careful when you're unfolding face masks because I have ripped them because I've been too eager to use my face mask before. But I'm just gonna put it on. And once it is like somewhat on, I'm gonna take off this plastic sheet. And I'm actually not wearing glasses right now, so I cannot see anything. I'm just like taking off the extra serum and putting it all over my body and like my chest and anywhere. And now I'm gonna get really close because I am actually gonna use the viewfinder as my mirror. And I probably look ridiculous. My windows are open and my neighbors can see me filming myself with a towel in my hair and a face mask on. Okay, so I think that this is about good. I still have lots of serum. Okay, why is it turning white? This has never happened. But it's okay, I'm just gonna dab it in and I'm gonna sit and relax and now we're actually gonna put on the foot mask. Okay, I know you guys can't see me but hopefully this camera placement is okay. Anyways, I just opened up the package and you guys can see there are two like pockets for your feet and now I'm just detaching the two feet. And I really like this because the serum is like inside the bag. So after you put your feet in, you can still walk around. So I've now detached the bags. I'm gonna put one foot first and then I'm gonna show you guys the second foot. After you find the opening, you just stick your foot in like a sock and you can see the serum like getting onto my feet and then there's a little sticker. These are actually so nice because you can walk around the house and I'm just going to wrap it around my ankle. I don't know if you guys can see, yes. And then that is it. And now you just have to massage the serum into your feet for a few minutes. And then you just let it sit just like your face mask for 10 to 20 minutes, even though I'm probably gonna let it sit for longer. I'm actually gonna paint my nails while I wait. I'm gonna start off by applying my base coat. And this is actually the OPI Infinite Shine Primer. For my nail polish color, I'm gonna be putting on this like baby pink. This is also on my toes right now. I think this is my favorite color at the moment. And it's called Your Blushing Again. It's just a really nice muted baby pink. So I'm gonna put that on my fingers right now. So now I'm actually going to take off my face mask. And wow, my skin just feels so soft. I just looked in the mirror and yeah, I'm just rubbing the serum in. I'm actually gonna let it sit for a little bit. I just have my face mask. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side, taking my hair out of my chubby twist. Oh my gosh, my hair is still pretty wet, but I'm just gonna let it air dry today. I don't know why, but I feel like my skin looks a lot brighter. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I think it does. But um, before I put in my leave-in conditioner, I'm actually going to wash my hands so I don't get the serum all over my hair. For my leave-in conditioner, I'm actually going to be using the Orlando Pita Marula Oil Nourishing Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I bought this over the summer. Um, well, we're in the summer right now, but I bought it at the beginning of summer. And yeah, it's been helping my hair, I think. I don't know, my hair definitely feels softer because of the coconut oil. I can definitely see a major difference with that. And for this, instead of spraying it directly into my hair, I normally do four sprays into the palm of my hand. Okay, wow, that was like, okay, I'm gonna do a fifth spray because I didn't see any product. And I am just going to put it on the bottom half of my hair. I backed up, so hopefully you guys can tell um, where I'm putting it. And I'm gonna flip over and just rub it all throughout my hair. And normally like the instructions, they just tell you to like, oh, just style it after you put it in your hair. But I am just going to bed soon. So I'm just going to let my hair air dry. And yeah. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this well. Okay. You guys obviously cannot see me, but I'm going to take off my foot mask now. I'm just going to slip it off. And oh my God. Let me feel, oh my gosh, wow, my feet feel so soft and I'm not going to show you guys any more of my feet because of foot fetishes. So after taking off my foot mask, I actually put some socks on so it's still getting like soaked and saturated in the serum and I'm eating my favorite ice cream. This is the black cherry vanilla. Mmm, brain freeze. Okay, it's so good, but I actually wanted to talk to you guys about one more product. I wanted to talk to you guys about the vitamin C pearls, which are actually also by Karuna. These are great. I'm going to show you guys a close-up of them. You, there are seven pearls in here, and it's a weekly night treatment that I love doing. 
and let me just grab a pearl it looks like this and they feel kind of just like styrofoam balls they're really really small and you just put it in the palm of your hand then there's this like um activator and you just put three um full three like full squeezes and then it dissolves it i'm actually going to put this back because i already have my face mask serum on my face but um when i use this in the night i wake up with such plump dewy skin and it makes the greatest difference in the world so i really really like this i am actually going to be using this duo tomorrow night because i use my face mask tonight and then i'm going to use this tomorrow night so hopefully i will be looking bomb diggity this weekend um okay i don't know why i just said that because i normally don't say bomb diggity but um yeah hopefully my skin looks better and i know that these scars are going to fade with these oils so yeah i've actually been really enjoying like pampering myself every once in a while actually more than like every once in a while because it's summer so it's fun i definitely want to continue this in the school year and hopefully it will keep my skin clear anyways i hope this gave you some ideas on how to pamper yourself and hopefully you guys found this video fun and interesting to watch and hopefully it was your like first time learning about a foot mask don't forget to give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos i will see you all in my next video bye